Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to do this. How to um, animate, um, how to create the eye, and how to animate it. How do you do a blink? You know, how do you make the eyes look around and stuff like that? The basic stuff. Um, but I just use it in a very basic way here. Of course, you can apply it how you want to your characters and, um, you know, customize it and so on. Okay? So let's begin. So. Um, first thing, let's create a face, right? So using the oval tool, holding down shift so I make a circle. And there you go. Actually, I'm not too keen on that blue. All right, it's a little better. All right, so I'm going to make this a symbol. I select it, F8, let's call it head, all right? Now, um, all the animation for this head will occur in here. And within the symbol okay this is the main timeline and by double clicking on the symbol now we're in it so I'm going to lock this layer that will be what the layer the head will be on and all of the the um, features will be created on other layers okay so let's call this let's label them for organization's sake let's call that the head we'll call this eye and the other one would be pupil okay now, <clears throat> you'll see why I do that in a second. I'm going to lock those layers. Okay, so let's create the eye. So I'm going to create one eye, and then I'm going to pretty much just duplicate it for the other one. Okay, so we don't have to do it twice. So, <clears throat> zoom this in a little bit. Um, so I'm going to use the uh, oval tool again. And hold on shift, and make the eye. Now, this eye is actually filled with blue. I'm going to delete that fill. Or, if you want, you can do it like this. You can select fill and click this icon that makes the fill zero and then you can use the oval tool and make an eye like that see so now the eye doesn't have a fill and you can check that or confirm that by selecting it and then doing like so see if it were filled you'd be able to see it so it doesn't have a fill good and that's what we want okay because where is the white of the eye gonna go the white of the eye is gonna go on the face not in the eye and you'll see why in a second so how do we do that well first let's make the eye symbol f8 let's call that eye okay let's lock that layer and let's make the pupil and let's zoom in a little bit so we can get a better look at what we're doing oval tool um let's make the eye there you go right Actually, I'm going to make that a group. So now, going in, and I'm going to fill this. Let's fill it with black. There you go. All right? And let's make another oval for the white of the eye. And actually, it's filled automatically with... Let's make it white. And let's do... There you go. All right? So there you go. So now, we have... Actually, I'll make that a symbol. F8, and let's call this pupil. Or whatever you want to call it, black of the eye, pupil, whatever. All right? So now notice we have two symbols now. We have the eye, and we have the pupil. Okay? Now, <clears throat> what I want to do is, now we're going to create the white of the eye. So I'm going to lock the pupil layer. And then, and notice I have the pupil layer below the eye layer, and that's because when we want to, like, for example, move the eye, see, it seems to go underneath, okay? That gives the impression it's inside the eye and not outside of it, all right? So, let's lock the pupil layer. Now we only have the eye layer, the eye layer open, and the um, let's unlock the head layer, okay? Now, <clears throat> how will we do this? So... We select the eye layer, the, the symbol, click on it. Now we're inside, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that. I copy this, Command C, go outside to the head, and now I'm going to paste that on the head layer, okay? There you go. Uh, actually, you know, I'll undo that since the head layer is actually... Um, so it doesn't cut away. Let's now we'll copy that and 
and go back to the head layer. Now we're in the head layer, okay? So I'm going to paste it. I'm not going to drop it just yet. No, I'm going to fill it. I'm going to fill it with white. And I'm going to click on the outline, delete it. Now the fill, I'm going to place... See, I'm placing the fill on the face, okay? I'm going to place it right behind this. There it is. Now I'm going to copy that, paste in place, and move that copy across. So there we go. So now we have the other one, all right? So <clears throat> basically, if I hide the, um, the eye in the pupil, you see that? See that the white of the eye is actually on the face and not inside the eye, the eye um, symbol. See, it's not here. Because if you move this around, you see that it's still, see that? It's still transparent. So I'm going to copy both of them, paste in place, and slide the copy across by holding down shift so it moves in a, vert, in a horizontal line. And there you go. And that's the key to creating the eye in this way. So that way now we can animate them. Okay? So now that we got that done, second uh, important thing to do is, so just for whenever we're making a blink, all right? So we're gonna go into, click on any one of the, um, the eye symbols, because if we make a change to this symbol, it'll automatically update in this symbol as well, because it's a copy, okay? So I'm gonna create a keyframe. See, this is the first frame. I'm gonna create a keyframe next to it. And this keyframe, I'm going to use the line tool, which is N. And I'm going to make a line across. This is going to represent when the eye closes, okay? And I'm going to push that in a little bit. Use the ink dropper tool, take up the blue, fill it in, fill it in. And that will give the impression the eye closes. See that? He's winking right now. <laughs> All right. Um, you can even do more, for example, you can have, let's create another one just for example's sake. Um, and let's show when his eyes half closed. See that? So basically I have three keyframes. One with the eye open, the second, number two, frame one has the eye open, frame two, eye closed, frame three has one eyelid down. Okay? So let's go back to the head. And you'll notice that the eye is open because that's the first keyframe. And you can check what keyframe that is by clicking on the symbol and then going to properties and you see, see here you have looping let's put the single frame and here you have first the, in other words the first frame that we'll see is the first frame if I wanted the eyes to seem closed I would highlight both of them actually this symbol is on this pupil symbol was on the wrong layer let's put it on the layer that it belongs there you go alright so on the eye symbol and the eye layer let's select both eyes and show you how this works I'll go to, see now that I've selected both of them, I go to properties, slooping, and then I'll select number two. Eye seems closed. See that? That's simple. If I wanted the eye to be half closed or half open, I select three, enter, and there you go. That's how you create that sleepy look. See that? So let's go back and make it one. So now we're ready to animate. Actually, it looks pretty weird, so I'm going to give this guy a mouth. Let's create another layer really quickly. And I'm not going to make it a, a symbol or anything. I'm just going to, just so it has something there. Okay, there you go. So he has a mouth. All right. Let's lock that layer. There you go. So now let's animate this guy. So what should we do first? Uh, okay, let's do a blink. So this is how you do a blink. Let's say, for example, let's create some frames here. I'm going to um, frame 100. Frame 100, uh, it at 5, and now there are frames. Frames here for animation, right? These are empty frames. These are pretty much frames that are active, but there's nothing there yet. So if I wanted to do a blink, it's pretty simple. I unlock the eye layer. Let's say we want him to blink at 30. Now, first thing, let's select the eyes and then we'll make sure that they're set to single frame. If they're set to loop, it will pretty much animate through all the three changes, the three frames that we have over and over and over again. We don't want that. We want it to stay open. So at frame 30, Create a keyframe by hitting F6, okay? Now, at F6, his eyes are going to close, because when you blink, your eyes close, and then they open, right? 
So we need two keyframes, one where the eyes open, where eyes closed, and then it opens again. So let's say it opens at frame 35. So five, five frames later, the eye will open. So a blink is pretty simple. These two frames, keyframes will represent the blink. You go to frame 30, hit that keyframe, select it. See, once you hit the keyframe, notice that it automatically selects those two um, symbols. You click on them, or you can just select them. And notice nothing is selected because we have locked all the other layers, right? So you go to frame 30, keyframe 30, select both eyes, and then you go to properties, and you select number 2, which means the eyes are closed. You don't have to do anything at 30 because the eye is already open. See that? So now let's play that and see how it looks. There you go, and that's the blink. You can even create, you can you know change the, uh, the the blink speed if it's a slow blink or so. Let's say that's the standard blink, five frames. Let's do a quick blink afterwards. So it's, it blinks again at say 45. Create a keyframe, and then at that keyframe you select two. Select the eyes, select two. Select the eyes, select two, actually two, not three. And then say at 48, six again, and then we'll select one. So you see how it looks. Slow blink and then a quick blink. See that? Actually, you can dramatize the effect to show the you know big difference by making this more, you can increase the number of frames between this blink. So it'll look more different. See that? Now you can see the difference. Good. So now that's his, that's how it is. Pretty easy. So for example, you could have had this lip sync going on. So while he's talking, you know, da 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 da, -da and he blinks, right? Now, <clears throat> say for example, you want him to look to the left and then look to the right. Pretty simple. All you do is now you lock the eye layer, then you unlock the pupil layer because now the pupils are going to be moving, okay? So say for example at keyframe at frame 60, create a keyframe. Always create a keyframe whenever you're gonna make a change. Okay, because if I didn't create this keyframe and I did a change, the change would occur here at the first frame. Changes occur only at keyframes. Okay, nowhere else between here. So now I want him to look to his left. So what I do, I click on that keyframe, select both pupils, and there he looks to his left. Then if I don't make another change, he's gonna keep looking to his left. See? And nothing else happens. I want him to look to his left. Well, our left. I want him to look to the left and then look to the right. So what I'm going to do, create another keyframe, say, at 30, at 70. And then select the pupils and then move them to the right. Blink, blink. And that's it. If you want him to, you know, look a little slower, you just increase the amount of space or frames between the two keyframes by hitting F5. Now it will look like this. See that? And then let's have him look again forward by going to, say, frame 90, F6, and then move the pupils forward. So that's how this will look. See that? So how do you do like the eye, make the eyes roll? Okay, let's let's do a couple of things. Let's have some fun here, really quickly. Um, let's give him some more frames. So at frame 30, 300, F5. Okay, so you have some more room. Let's have him look up as if he's thinking about something. So at frame, say 105, he's create a keyframe, F6, and then I'm gonna have him look up like he's thinking about something. It's gonna stay there for a while, stay there for a while, and then create a keyframe at 120 something, and now he's gonna look back at us. Okay, so yeah. see that? And then if you wanted to actually do like a um, my mouse is really overactive, it's like hyperactive, really sensitive. So if um, let's say you want to do eye roll, right? At 140, you would create a keyframe. Then he looks to the left, and then pretty much what you're going to do is imagine a path for the pupil going around the eye like that, and then you're just going to create another keyframe, 
F6, and then you're going to move both pupils up a little bit. Going to create. So I'm, what I'm doing, I'm creating a keyframe in every two frames and moving it. And this is what gives the impression of a smooth movement. See, so it's, see, it, it's going to appear when it plays as if he's, his eye, his pupil are moving in a circle. And then the last one, he will look directly back at us. So let's see how that looks. See that? And, and notice this pretty quickly. You can slow it down simply by increasing the number of frames between each keyframe. So for example, I can go to this keyframe and hit F5, this keyframe and hit F5, this keyframe and hit F5, and keep doing that. So now notice there's more, there are two frames between each keyframe instead of one. So now it will appear to go slower. There you go. See that? And another quick thing is I'll show you. Notice that he's blinked only here. You can actually copy. So whenever you see these two uh, keyframes, it represents a blink. Eyes closed, eyes open. You can select these two keyframes like so. And by holding down option, you can move them anywhere along that layer and it will create a blink there. So if I wanted another blink somewhere, I could say drop it right there. And then, see that? So basically what I did was make the moment he, when he blinks and his eyes open, it actually coincides with when his eye, the pupils change direction. See, the pupils are looking to the right and then they're gonna look, to, they're gonna look forward. When the eyes open, they're gonna look forward. Boom, see that? Animators do that a lot to make it not obvious that, you know, it's just a really cool effect. Whenever you want the eyes to change direction, you just make it coincide with a blink. And actually I'll copy that blink and put it, you know, other places along the... So you can actually create a rhythm, you know? And that's pretty much how you do it. So I'm holding, to create that, that uh, copy, I hold on option, select the frames, and just move them anywhere I want. See that plus sign? And drop it, right? Hold that option, select, and move and there you go so now the last thing is see all this animation took how many frames 175 76 77 78 frames so I go to the main timeline see if I hit enter nothing will happen because there's no frames for the animation to take place see all these frames are empty so I have to go to 175 or 178 and hit F5. Now there's room. So hit Command Enter. And that's what we just did. It's pretty simple. All right. So going over it pretty quickly, we create the, the symbol for your head character, right? The head of the character. Then you have the eye and the pupil symbol on separate layers. Now just to hide them, you put the white of the eye on the head, okay? On the, the frame, the, the symbol or the, the shape or object for the face. And then you have the eye, the shape of the eye will actually go around that white. So it seems as if the white is actually in the eye, but it's not. And the pupil is sandwiched between the head and the eye layer. See that? So it's on the layer below it. So that gives us the impression as if the pupil is actually underneath. Because if we didn't do that and we fill the eye, then the pupil would be hidden. All right? And we don't want that. So then, you, you know, you can sync this with your dialogue or whatever. So whenever the character is talking, see the mouth is here? If you have the lip sync, whenever the mouth is talking, you can have the eye, you know, look to the left or to the right or whatever. Like if he's thinking, then he would, you know, do something like this. Say he's like thinking about, you know, whatever it is. All right. So that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. Now you can modify this to fit whatever, you know, project you guys are working.